Hi, everyone. Today is Thursday, October the 19th of 2023, and we're here for the weekly crypto review with Muand. So how's it going, Mu? Yeah, going good, man. Just been a busy week. Um, and next week, will, or this coming week, will be busy too, but nothing like last week for me. So that's good. Um, things are hopefully going to settle back into some normalcy uh, around here. I've been so busy. Uh, taking care of uh, family things and things like this um, that I haven't really spent much time with crypto. So um, we'll take a look today and hopefully people have got some great questions. I made a poll up there and polls you guys if you guys want to take a look. And even if you're not paying attention to, to uh, crypto uh, necessarily, uh, and this is the crypto review with Samantha, but um, I bet people are just getting peppered, right, Sam, with all sorts of scam emails and, uh, you know, click here to receive this and you missed your airdrop over here and you name it. Um, a lot of people are reporting they're just getting email after email after email that are scams. Uh, so you guys really need to be careful, not click on links, um, go verify if it's uh, it might. It, a lot of times it's something that you've never even signed up for or you're not entitled to. Um, yes, you can check the the email addresses where they come from by kind of exploding out the email and seeing the chain, but most people aren't going to do that or not know how to do that. So um, just be very, very careful. I guarantee people are probably, you know, getting a lot of scam stuff. And I think you are too, Sam. Yeah, right that's why I wanted to bring it up because I know that a lot of folks in our group are not newbies and you already know that. And there's a scam room in the Psychic Nerds Discord. There's a scam room in the Samantha Jane James Discord. A lot of members are on because when I click on the Discord to see what servers they're on, I see that a lot of people in our group here are in both the Psychic Nerds and the Samantha Jane James, which is great because we really have two totally different approaches. And I really can't see how somebody, especially like a new person, could get along without a group like Psychic Nerds because of the deep dives that you guys take. So you know, we'll have some more time in the next month or two um, to advertise it to the public. So we should be getting some new members on Psychic Nerds now. I mean, and it's so great too, because there's so many people in the group that are super helpful. So even if you're not available, and I've noticed that on my channel as well, when people are like, oh, did Sam say this would happen X, Y, Z? And then I log on maybe later on in the day and like Susan OG is already giving me the answer from her notes. Oh, well, I think she said this on this date. And, you know, and I just love how they help each other out. And I see that with the psychic nerds as well, yeah. the same type of, um, you know, the same type of charity for each other, because, you know, like you said, together we are better. So I guess we can talk about <laughs> some general things in uh, crypto. I saw that Aptos was down for five hours. Um, I bet uh, they're celebrating a birthday, but I bet nobody noticed because nobody's using that one. Um, and um, yeah, so that's that's kind of what's going on with cryptos. Uh, let's see, we can take a look at some charts. I saw that the Bitcoin dominance is higher than it's been. Boy, yeah, let's go take a look. I think that last time it was this high. Uh, so there's just people are just moving to yeah. strength and the new investment is just going to the strongest coins. So uh, but uh, it, Bitcoin dominance has not been this strong since April of 2021. So let me see if I can show that. Yeah, I think that uh, it's great to see the money flowing into Bitcoin because a lot of people know what Bitcoin is. Um, some people still have never heard of Ethereum, so we're not there yet. I would say that people have probably heard of Doge before they heard of Ethereum, to be honest with you. Because I ask people, they're like, oh, yeah, Doge, I've heard of that. I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we both, we all have Ethereum. We love Ethereum. And I expect that, again, the money will filter into. Uh, but a part of me is like, don't let it happen yet. I'm going to buy some more yeah. Ethereum. No, I, I mean, we've been, we've been dollar cost averaging for years now. So it's best to just uh, let it happen. And I think this is all part of the everything all at once. To hear that Bitcoin dominance is way up. Well, that, that makes sense. It shows you that the mindset is changing, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I think gold and silver uh, doing really well, actually, um, you know, uh, yeah. And Bitcoin, uh, even though, you know, the price is kind of staying where it is, um, we saw BlackRock uh, refile, make some amendments. Several, several of the other spot ETFs have made amendments. Uh, that's also something that's been going on today. Um, but yeah, if we go back, uh, Bitcoin dominance has not been this high since April of 2021. So that's that's kind of spectacular. Just people are moving to strength. Uh, in the wild, wacky world in which we're all living in right now. Um, if I resort these, the miners have had some good days. Um, 
Solana is up, uh, what, today it's up uh, 5%. Um, Hercule Silver Corp's up 8%. This this thing has just been running like crazy. But anyway, this is the crypto show, so we'll yes. get away from that. Well, we but, do, um, we do anyway, that's kind of what's here. going on. I mean, you know, let's face it, it's all part of the, yeah. everything all at once. And the weird thing about it um, was that I was expecting that interest rates would go up, that, um, but that the price of things was still going to go up. Um, like for example, the housing market wasn't going to crash because of the high interest rates. Like we were still going to get housing, um, you know, moving along. And certainly that's been the case where I'm moving from because, um, we're, we're still getting uh, a lot of activity. And the reality of it is that we don't have, we don't have enough no homes for people and there's a shortage of that. So we, we just, we saw, um, we're, we're just seeing, I call it voodoo economics when you do this kind of printing. So we're going to see silver and gold go up more. We're going to see um, cryptos go up more because when they're printing money, which it looks like they're going to be doing, because again, it's war, you know, they print money to, to uh, make the war machine. And where does it go into? And it looks like right now um, the first step is Bitcoin. And I believe that very shortly after that, and we always see that it, it, it melts down into Solana, into, um, well, Ethereum, Avalanche, um, probably Polygon's going to have a good run soon. And uh, yeah, I think that we're going to start to see a lot of action. New York Attorney General also is suing uh, in a civil suit, uh, suing, uh, I think, um, the office basically stated that they, they have charged Gemini Trust, Gemini or Genesis Global Digital Currency Group, and a few others uh, for defrauding uh, 130,000 people uh, out of more than a billion dollars. So that's also going on. Uh, Barry Silbert obviously is uh, the CEO uh, of Genesis um, and Digital Currency Group. Um, and states here in the filing that uh, Barry Silbert attempted to conceal the true financial health of the organization so that's also coming down uh what else is going on the if you guys got a question scale. I'm over in the right hand scale side. remember the news yeah. on that that was fantastic yeah. a lot and a lot of people ask questions about that like was grayscale going to be able to to refile for its etf on the on the, the bitcoin price yeah it looks like they're looks like they're continuing to move forward there and they're just going to kind of use the law as a way to, you know, try and get that converted over to a spot. So that's very, very interesting. And the, uh, the discounts are, <laughs> are shrinking uh, as we speak every day, the discounts get less and less. So, uh, your opportunity to get Bitcoin exposure at a cheaper price. Um, it's definitely, I think your window's running out. And we saw that fake, uh, saw that fake news. I was well where I was, and I saw that fake news uh, come across. Uh, Bitcoin Cash had a wonderful in the last week. It had a couple of days just it really ripped up to what two fifty, so that was kind of nice. Um, but anyway, if you guys got a question, go ahead and put them over in the right hand side. And uh, I also have a poll here, so uh, go ahead and take a look at the poll. I'd kind of be curious. Uh, the poll is where do you think Bitcoin? Price will be at the end of uh, December 31st, uh, 2023. Just be kind of curious where you guys think it'll end up. Um, and the first one here, Sam, let's go ahead and take a couple questions. Rhonda Turner says, dot crash to 350. Will it ever return to its all-time high and when? Um, I believe that dot will return to its all-time high and that that will be in the next run. We're not. It's not going to be one of the laggards. There's a few that I think, well, we might have to wait until the next run to see the all-time high. Um, I think Ethereum will go to its all-time high and more. I think Solana, I think DOT, I think all of the ones that we all typical hold, typically hold. Um, I think Matic as well. I think that everything is just going to be part of the everything all at once. And, and it makes sense when the market starts charging towards $3 trillion that uh, there may be an overabundance of excitement that gets it there even quicker just because people will be looking at the previous all time high and they'll be like, this is as high this, it could go this high or higher. And that in itself will, um, encourage people, um, out in retail, but more importantly in the herd, there are a lot of, uh, investment guys who they, they want to get the kind of returns. I mean, I hadn't heard about Kathy Wood until Ark had that big return. Well, the following year it went in the toilet, of course, but, but you know, she, she got a name built for herself. Well, I feel like all of these people are trying to build a name for themselves in investments because 
if they didn't have a lot of stuff in um, the, you know, the, the, the Tesla, the Netflix, the Google, um, they didn't really make money for their clients. And they're looking at, you know, they have some, they have some clients that are kind of like, Hey, what's going on here? Um, you know, all my, I have some friends making money. I'm not making any money with you. And these guys, they all know that the key is for the cryptocurrencies and the exchange traded funds to be allowed and have full access to them. And, um, that will, you'll, you'll see people trying to get in front of each other for that. And then that in itself is going to push up all of the big names in cryptos. And that's why this time around for this run, you're going to do really well with the older ones, the ones that are like in the top 20 and you're still going to get results on, I call them the ones out in Pluto, you know, the game ones, like, for example, like star Atlas, for example, you know, that's still going to go up, but the exponential moves are really going to come from the, uh, more established cryptos. And we're, we're even going to see that with Bitcoin as well. I think that Bitcoin will also um, see a new high. I, I expect to see um, something around 84,000 for Bitcoin. Polkadot's run into a lot of challenges over the last week. Uh, Parity, basically, they do all the work uh, there. They do all the engineering. And I think they have about 385 employees and uh, most of them got laid off. So about 300, I believe, from Parity. Uh, you're seeing uh, different projects leave Polkadot, um, and it seems like there's a lot of strife between Polkadot itself and Parity uh, that's kind of going on at the moment. I haven't held DOT in a long time. Um, it's just I don't want to get caught up in it right now. I'm kind of more in strength, but you guys already know that. But I just kind of just wanted to mention it because, Rhonda, that's why the price is where it's at. Um, there's a lot of confusion over there, a lot of people leaving the project, and kind of just a lot of strife going on. So that's that's where it's at. Um, Limit Breaks got one here. Do you see Matic heading to double digits this pending bull run, at least $10? Um, I would say that you would see at least the uh, $3 for Matic. Okay. okay. And Soul Man's got one here. Hi, Sam. Which cryptocurrency project will be the first one to make the most noise or news starting from today, including Bitcoin? LOL. Um, I think that's Solana. I felt like Solana and Matic, you know, other than the usual, you know, the, the three amigos, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum and believe it or not, XRP. It's one of those three amigos because that seems to be affected quite a bit on news as well. So other than the usual three amigos, I would say uh, Solana. Okay. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate that. Uh, Crypto Believers got one here about injective protocol. Um, it is. Any thoughts on INJ? It's been strong and is up this week. <sighs> INJ. Now, that's not one. I'll, I'll be clear. I don't hold that one. Um, and Muet, how long has, can you spell out the full name of this one? Uh, currently at $8.45, uh, uh, injective, I-N-J-E-C-T-I-V-E, -E, and the symbol is I-N-J. Um, it's up uh, about 11% uh, the last 14 days. Um, it's up 16% in the last seven days. Uh, in a year period, it's up uh, 316%. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and go over here. Uh, I know they're doing some cool things um, with... Uh, they do several things uh, with finance, um, so kind of some DeFi things. Uh, I think Mark Cuban's a big one uh, in, in Injective. They also do some gaming things as well. So, um, but yeah, oh, any thoughts? Man? I'm thinking that um, eventually that one might fizzle out. Okay. Um, I, like I said, I don't hold it, and I'm just trying to, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm swimming through the information sure. here. I'm looking, I'm like, Oh, do I see? Sure, sure. That's why I wanted to know what 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 the spelling was and everything. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mm -hmm. say no to that one. I'm gonna say no. You get you're getting a zero from Sam. Zero info on that one for some reason. Uh, the blab is not there for injective. But I'm glad to hear that it's up 300 percent because that means there's some people yeah. who are actually making some money in the crypto market the last year. 
Yeah. And if you came in, you know, you came in at the bottom uh, kind of last year um, or right before the beginning of 2023, I think you could have gotten this thing for like a dollar 25, dollar yeah. 40, something like that. And you know, if you turned a dollar 40 thing to $8 and 45 cents, that's pretty awesome. So congratulations if you were in that one. Um, I think it's all time high was almost $25. I'm Richie's got one here. Um, will the hockey stick movement for XRP or Doge move to a dollar? happened before or after Thanksgiving of this year. So November of 2023. Oh, uh, so Moo, did you, did you hear about Tinkerbell and XRP? Do you know what happened there? No. Oh, I have to tell no. you. Okay. I'm going to blab to everyone. And you know what? Okay. Tinkerbell, she doesn't care. TMI, right? I'm like, thank God for Tinkerbell. We get all these hits, right? Tinkerbell goes on, um, the, one of the uh, live streams and she asked me about credit card debt and, and, she, and I asked her how much it was. And uh, she said, you know, I got to pay off my credit card debt. You know, I'm waiting for XRP, right? When's it going to run? And I said, Oh, you know what? And I felt, I was like, Oh my gosh. I said, I feel terrible saying this. I hope they're not, they, they don't have this type of sense of humor. Like a person, a person would tease you and say, Oh, well actually you're going to pay that off. And then XRP will run. And that's what I said to her. I said, you're going to get, I said, you're going to get money from somewhere else. I said, and you're going to pay off that credit card debt 100%. And then XRP is going to run. So then I'm on the road. This is like a week later. She sends me a document from her account that she just got. Guess what her refund is that she's getting? <laughs> yes, baby. Enough to oh, take care yeah. of it. I was like, well, there you go. There's your credit card debt. So I <laughs> said, you good, better though. pay that off. Everybody's hey. waiting now. For, and I said, you're not, I told him, I yeah. said, I said, it's coming from another source. You're not allowed to take donations. I said, cause I know crypto Tarzan, he'd be out there. Now you just send her 50 bucks and then she's going to put it towards the, and the next RP is going to go. <laughs> but I just thought that was great. I wanted to tell you that story. Cause I, I just thought that was great that within the week she actually was getting yeah. a refund back. And I did, and she had no idea. And I specifically said that she would be paying it off and that it wouldn't be, I said, you know, don't try to do any little tricky things with the people on the other side. They already got your number. Yeah. Okay. Um, any thoughts about this question from I'm Richie about XRP or Doge move to a dollar before Thanksgiving well, of 20. Um, Doge was supposed to be like during the summertime, you know, and that didn't happen. It didn't move yet. And I know, and I can't see that we're going to be, waiting until next summer. That seems like it's too far away. Um, so I'm gonna say like when the Doge rocket launches that that will give it a big push. And then Tinkerbell just said, waiting for the refund to be deposited from the IRS. So that's what that's the answer. That's what the people on the other side said. They said that when she gets that money, that's when XRP is gonna go. So, all right, Tinkerbell, you make sure okay. you post it in the Discord room. And then there's enough psychic nerds on the S. Well, I mean, Tinkerbell's a psychic nerd too, isn't she? Yeah. So post yeah. it in both rooms. I got my refund. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's. This one's from Neo Knight. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, question one. So there's two questions here. Question number one. When do you see a Bitcoin ETF being pat? And I think he means spot. Spot Bitcoin ETF being passed. When do I see the Bitcoin being passed? Uh, I feel like it'll be, uh, by the new year, like early, uh, 2024. Um, yeah, okay. I feel like that'll be. Okay. And then question number two, when do you see ripple settlement happening? Will this affect the whole market or just XRP? Well, the bull flag being XRP, which means that it'll go first, but if it's a bull flag, when the bull flag is raised, well, that's when all the other cryptocurrencies are going to respond but again they're all going to respond at different rates last night on ask a medium um one of the sam jammers asked a question about um you know would he be would he have time like to roll xrp into and and buy stuff like ben and these other ones and i basically told him no i said you know you're not going to have time to do that um and the other thing to keep in mind is is, is that um there's going to be other things that you're going to put some of that XR money into in the future. Like, you know, the, uh, we, we call it the Google coin, the, the, the biggest all time moneymaker coin 
for us Sam Dammers that is not apparently is not available yet. So, yeah, I said he would have time for that. I said, but that, those other ones you won't. So I guess what will happen is that it'll move, but the volumes see that people don't understand that when you get these high volumes, it makes it extremely difficult to do anything unless you're on like numerous exchanges. So you'd have to have a whole bunch of XRP and be spread across a few exchanges and because they really only can handle so much. Thanks, Sam. Uh, Bill's got one here. Let's take a look. Hey, guys, do you still think the crypto market will reach three trillion this year? Question mark. Thanks. Well, it would have to go there in two and a half months. And I felt like um, we were going to get a similar movement as we did when we went to three trillion last time. So um, we're looking at into 2024. And I had um, felt as well that uh, the people asked me about the stock market and I didn't feel like the stock market was going to crash like this year. I felt like it would be more next year in the fall but it would be after the cryptos go on this huge run. Because remember the stock market crash is gonna take everything with it, right? Like everything, even if it's for a short time, it going like that and then up, but it's gonna take everything. So this makes sense that if between now and, cause we were at 825, we're hanging around 1.1 trillion now. So we're up about, what would that be? Eight, nine, 10. That's about maybe up 35% on the year. So I feel like it's going to make another move up and keep going um, until April, May. But again, it has to do with the individual coins and tokens that you're holding more than anything. Before, I think it was more like the market, like across the board. But now it's going to be like, what are you holding? Like, do you hold this crypto and that one and that one? So, you know, just get ready for that. It's not the everything all at once for all of our coins and tokens, but a lot of what we hold are going to be up quite a bit. Um, some of the bigger moves will come like later on, like the huge moves. But I do think that um, XRP, Doge, um, the usual suspects, Matic, you know, Solana, and of course, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and XRP, well, you know, we'll all be going on a nice run. And, and once again, you know, even people who haven't been in cryptos and don't know anything about them, they'll be like, oh, I got some XRP. The financialization of Bitcoin is going to be really important. Uh, that's really going to allow a lot of money to flow in. And, you know, you guys can go listen to, I'm sure you have, but you can go listen to, you know, Ray Dalio or Larry Fink or whoever um, talking about the types of inflow that could happen. Uh, people from Fidelity and State Street and just different things that, uh, you know, with a spot uh, ETF. Uh, Bitcoin, a lot of money will flow here naturally as just a position of strength and a way of diversification for people uh, with large accounts in retirement accounts and everything else. So um, it will really open up the floodgates, I believe. Um, and we saw what BlackRock does when they get in invested or I'm sorry, they try and financialize a market uh, like they did the gold market. And you guys know what happened after that. So and how high gold took off to. But uh, this one trillion, uh, yeah, we're at 1.06 right now. We've kind of been here uh, for a while, kind of right around this whole range. We have not got over uh, 1.25 really uh, all year long. Um, so before we get to, you know, I kind of say what I always say, guys, uh, before we get to 3 trillion, uh, why don't we worry, try and get back to yeah. two first? And that would take us back to uh, April of 22 or, you know, March of 22 or... Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, Richard's got one here. Hello, Samantha and Moo. Will XRP start the bull run? Yeah, yeah, especially, uh, like I said, the Tinker Bell's surprise there that we blabbed about. I thought that was funny. Um, uh, since Tinker Bell, we are all in your grand experiment. So let me break set with XRP. We're all, we're all in this is this isn't my grand experiment. This is Tinker Bell's. <laughs> I know I you came here for one thing and you got another. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is the poll uh, that I put over there. Go ahead and get your votes in. Um so the question was the price of BTC on December 31st, 2023. Uh two people said it would be over 20k. Uh eight people said it would be over 30k. Eight people said it'd be over 40K. One person said over 50. 
and one person said over 60. So, hi, Sam and Moo. I hope you are well. How will the conflict in the Middle East affect the market? Well, the money printer is going to go burr again, and uh, the money is going to flow into cryptos. Um, you know, it's affecting it like a small percentage of the population as far as the world goes. Um, it was different when Russia, for example, uh, was getting sanctions uh, and at war. And that's still affecting people today in Russia who are trying to get money out because uh, they don't have an off ramp with banking and all of that stuff. So a lot of people who have a lot of money there mm -hmm. are trapped and have their money in Russia. I don't feel like that's the same problem um, in the Middle East, but I do feel because of the war footing and uh, the financial aid and all of that, that there's, you know, America is going to have to print more money. And you know what happens when more money is printed? Thanks, Sam. Um, let's take a look at this next one. I lost my window. There's my window. Um, hi, Sam and Moo. I have quite a few different cryptos. I recently picked up some XCN, some uh, Onyx coin. Do you think this could do well? Appreciate all uh, what you guys both do. Thank you. Uh, no, I don't think Onyx is on the list of long-term winners, which is what we like to look at we like to put our money into strength because regardless of the ups and downs in the market if you're if you are invested in a survivor right like bitcoin and ethereum and xrp and solana and i mean we can go down the list you know and if you bought any of these in the early days and you just held them you're doing fantastic you know obviously you take profits with when something's like 10 times what you paid for it you know, you take some profits there, right? And then, but some people have just yeah, chosen to let sure. this ride. They're just like, well, I'm not here for the 300,000 I have in my account. I'm, I'm waiting for the 3 million. And so they're patiently waiting for that. And they're waiting for, you know, things to continue to move in the right direction with cryptos, which it has. The lawsuits have come out in our favor. Um, I feel like we are moving in the right direction, but I don't think that this coin that uh, it's queenie. Um, is talking about has a long-term future. So I, I myself, I wouldn't, I wouldn't run out and buy that one just because I can't see it as one of the big names in the future. Yeah, and when I, you know, I, I hope people aren't confusing um, like this Onyx coin or whatever with like the Onyx uh, J.P. Morgan blockchain network. Um, so you know, you, you might hear people talk about them, but you you might not know the difference. So um, JP Morgan has their own blockchain. It's a, it's a basically a, it was one of the first banking blockchains created. A lot of people don't know that, but uh, it's called Onyx. Uh, it also runs uh, Link, not Chainlink, but another version of their thing called Link, which is L-I-I-N-K. Um, and they use that for payment related things between institutions. Um, so anyway, I kind of just wanted to mention that, and there are Onyx digital assets uh, in which they are building up and using, and uh, they're actually real world assets are being put into this thing. So uh, don't confuse maybe uh, the Onyx JP Morgan blockchain with something out there called Onyx coin or something. I just felt like I should say that because, you know, Sam, a lot of these names uh, get, uh, <laughs> people throw them around and think that they're the same thing. I'm not saying Queenie does, but uh, I just want to clear it up for anybody that's maybe new to it or never heard of it before or sees it somewhere, you know. Uh, Bildi, hi Sam, earlier in the year, you thought the market cap would reach 3 trillion this year. Are you still feeling that way with the situation in the Middle East? It looks like liquidity has completely dried up. It's just hard to see the market move higher in this environment. Do you think it's possible to get the 3 trillion move into 2024? Oh yeah, that's what I feel like for sure. Because, you know, one year after the other, it's like flat as a pancake as far as trying to view when things happen, it's very difficult to get timing unless mm -hmm. they give me like exact dates, which that's happened before. I've been given exact dates and like with August 10th and Jeffrey Epstein, which is not crypto related, but that's just an example of a specific date. Um, that doesn't happen very often for obvious reasons. Um, I probably would have been long since kidnapped and taken away <laughs> if that happened, if I could get exact dates, but I have to, explain to folks maybe who are newer that um, when you are looking into the future and you're talking about everything and 
the timelines, it's so close. It's very difficult to tell, you know, from one year to the next, you see, you see it coming, like, you know, it's coming. Right. And you know, it's not very far away. Um, but I think just going back to what we talked about before, where it took us so much time in, in 2020 um, to get to the three trillion market. It took us like pretty much a year. And that was we peaked, I think, at two point something trillion. And then we had a pullback and then it made a run for three trillion. Um, and we could be looking at a similar situation, except without the without a large dip like that for that length of time in the middle. I think it'll be more of a gradual. It just keeps going to go and, you know, until it doesn't.